Warner Brothers, believe it or not, fam, at one point was looked at as a studio that knew how to get things done. And they did a bang-up job doing it. That changed about the time Fantastic Beasts 1 hit theaters, and ever since then it's been a string of disappointments on the superhero side with all the DC stuff, to really just kicking themselves in the balls whenever they come out with a property that's a reboot or a remake, a rehash, a requel, a sequel, a sidequel, a fucklow. It doesn't matter. If Warner Brothers is involved, it's surely going to hit the the high caliber that Sony Pictures puts out for itself when it comes to things like Morbius and Madame Web. They're, they're basically synonymous at this point to me. And once again, our studio has decided in their infinite wisdom to take the already lifeless husk of Neo, the chosen one, drag his corpse up to the top of the roof and put a bullet in his head saying dodge this one last time Fully well knowing there's absolutely no way to dodge that bullet. This asshole's going down, just like The Matrix did. A movie back. Let's talk about what's happening. This just in, dipshits. They're making another Matrix movie. Why? Because the last one was so well received, I suppose. It sits at around 60% on Rotten Tomatoes and 5 point something on IMDb. You are honestly going to tell me in 2024 that 60 some percent of critics thought that Matrix Regurgitations was a good film. Resurrections was worthy of a fresh score. That movie is absolute dumpster trash. I kid, listen, I know hyperbole is, is a fun thing on the internet. I know it's fun to say a bunch of wild statements. This is the worst movie ever made. This movie is lower than excrement. The Matrix Resurrections is legitimately one of the worst movies I've ever seen in theaters. Competently done? No, I don't think so. I think it's a horseshit film. The movie was so bad that people that defend the film say it was poorly made on purpose. The story was shit on purpose because the Wachowskis didn't want to come back. Warner forced their hands, so they made they burned the bridge. They burned it down so that future Matrix movies would be impossible. Oh, really? Because we just got an announcement that they're making another one. So not only did one of the Wachowskis ruin the film franchise they built, they did it all for nothing. Because here we go again. Listen, I know I'm shot out of a cannon on this because The Matrix is near and dear to my heart. 1999's film was revolutionary. So there's a reason why they called the third one Revolutions. It really was a revolutionary time in cinema. It really upped the ante in terms of fighting, in terms of action, in terms of spectacle in a sci-fi action film. And there would be countless flicks that would keep repeating this process for years to come. And I'm not going to go down the alley of crapping all over the fourth film again. There's an entire roast on my channel that's like 30 minutes long. You are more than welcome to treat yourself to that and subscribe to the channel if you like my content. For this, though, I'm going to give you both my negative, my jaded, cynical perspective, and my positive, optimistic fan perspective. Let's start with the negative. I think this is a horrible idea. Because Warner Brothers has proven that it doesn't give two shits about the fans or about movie lovers. They're willing to greenlight any dumb idea that's possible. Just look at the, the Fantastic Beasts are a thing. That's a terrible idea on paper. It, horrible. I didn't even finish it. It was so bad. They continuously make these terrible choices, these awful decisions with their properties. And here we are again with The Matrix 5, tentatively titled that. It's that, That's not what it's going to be called. I have some ideas myself because, again, there's an optimistic part of me here. I freaking love The Matrix. I've forgiven the route that it went with Reload and uh, Revolutions. I actually really like Reloaded. Sorry, I said Reload before. That's a, that's a Metallica album. I celebrate their entire catalog. Well, everything up until St. Anger, I would say. Reloaded is just a balls-to-the-walls awesome action film with an occasional stop-off into metaphor land, but that that's fine. Revolutions, definitely the worst, easily the worst and kind of a hot mess, but I have forgiven it and the trilogy as a whole, it works for me. I really enjoy it. Four, there's no way you can convince me it's anything other than absolute gutter shit. So five has a very high hill to climb. 
I do not think that Warner Brothers will pull it off, although the Wachowskis are not back in any sort of major capacity. I think one of them is a co-producer or some bullshit name. All that's known right now is Drew Goddard's on board for writing. He previously worked on The Martian, which I freaking love that movie. Very tight script, really just an intense film all around, feel-good movie. And he wrote World War Z. So not not great on the second one, but that movie went through tons of reshoots and rewrites and, and who knows. Bottom line is literally anyone could have been picked as long as it's not a Wachowski and I would be better. I'd be more comfortable because it's clear they hate their own child at this point. Putting all that aside, what do I want to see from a new Matrix film? Well, for starters, let's call it The Matrix Rebooted. This is the only franchise in the history, as far as I know, that can get away with rebooting itself and having it make sense inside the movie. So just call it Matrix Rebooted. Let's have a new cast. Let's have a completely new story. Don't do the one. We don't need a one storyline that's been done three times, four times over. Let's have a new lore. Let's put it inside of a Matrix and that'll be the connection and that's all we need. Will they do that? Of course not. Because Hollywood's all about soft reboots, they got to do nostalgia, they got to get buckets in the seats. So my prediction, and this is the jaded part coming out again, we get Keanu back, maybe Carrie Ann Moss comes back, Fishburne's back, we love our fish, we love our Lawrence Fishburne, we bring Morpheus back, and we just have these very small, limited roles for them. It's going to be a soft reboot. You have to have the old dogs come back for one last ride, but they're going to pass off the torch. We're thinking Ghostbusters Afterlife, Creed, The Force Awakens, Jurassic World in a capacity, in a sense. They would later on keep adding more of the legacy characters as the films got worse. They kind of did it opposite. I guess just rebooting the, the park itself was the same thing. This works very well in the horror department too. You have Scream passing the torch with the old legacy characters who, again, might now be taking their own torch back because of all the disasters behind that scenes. Then you have Halloween. It just, it just, this is what we do. So I do not believe for a second that Warner Brothers will go outside of that norm, outside of that trend, and just try to make a good film. I think they're gonna say, we got to have Neo back. We got to have Fish in this one. Morpheus. We don't though. Okay. It was a product of its time. It was amazing. It still holds up incredibly well. I've watched the trilogy just recently. I still freaking love it. My kids love it. So it has lasting power. I don't think my kids give a shit about seeing an aged up Morpheus or Neo out of shape. Fish burn more than... Keanu, but still, it's it just it loses its luster, people. Especially when they're playing pretend inside of a Matrix video game system. They should be able to look however they want, right? So I don't think Lawrence Fishburne would perceive himself as an aged up old guy, you know, that's a little bit heavy. No, that's ridiculous. Let's move on to new characters and a new storyline. What is it going to be? Well, I'm not the writer in this case, and I probably would need more than the time it's taken me to record to come up with something. But I know that there's got to be more to the Matrix than just the chosen one white savior shtick. And they're tentatively titling it Matrix 5, which makes me think they're not going to do a prequel where it's the fall of the human race and the rise of the machines. That could be very interesting. We really never see it in sci-fi. We always get glimpses and teases and like the Terminator and whatnot, but we don't ever get to see the full crash and burn and then the rise from the ashes. That would be cool, especially with the Animatrix providing a lot of that story already. We can, we can take from that. We can use that. For me, though, the Matrix was just a feeling. It was all about the slick presentation. All the, like lore building on top of itself and getting up its own ass that was just it that was just the Wachowskis doing their thing like oh it's a it's a metaphor for trans rights or it's it's a Jesus thing look at Neo's doing the cross in the third film it's all just an allegory at the end of the day fine do whatever you want over there what I'm looking for what I'm more interested in is a cool dude with shades, a leather jacket, double machine guns, bullet time slow motion going through a window. Things whipping around, whizzing. Punching guys are like spinning through the air. Trinity, help. 
Not Trinity, though. We'll, we'll use different characters. This is a new movie. Not a soft reboot. I think of the most iconic villain in movie history, Agent Smith. Mr. Anderson. So good. It's about the style. It's about the awesome choreographed action. It's about the energy these movies have, the feel these films have. And then you pepper in some mystery, some commentary. You got the Oracle in there. You got Seraph in there. You got the kid with the spoon, spoon kid. It's all there. It's layered. That's what made it so smart and edgy at the time. We got to find a way to modernize that without losing what made it so good to begin with. It's a very hard pill to swallow, pun intended. But let's see if these assholes can take the red pill and see how deep this rabbit hole can go. The Matrix, to me, is endless opportunity, much like Star Wars can be. Because it's a galaxy far, far away, there's so many different stories and ways you can take it. The same can be said for Middle Earth, comic book films set within a universe. There's just so many options for rich storylines and, and, and unique characters and settings. Oftentimes, though, these companies just fall back on lazy, what works, opportunistic ideas. And they never really put themselves out there because it's all about financial gain at the end of the day. They have shareholders that they have to uh, appeal to. They have books they got to hit, certain targets. It, 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 the game is just, it, it's become too manufactured at this point. It's all about money and there's not even a sliver there's not even a little tiny bit of that anymore that feels like it's about the art and making something truly special. And so all that said, am I excited for The Matrix 5? Hell no, I'm not. Because I saw what they did in my baby last time and it put me in a very bad place. But on the other hand, this, this little tiny part that's still alive somewhere where the, the crusted over shape of a heart used to be, he's, the, he's out there yelling. He's saying, yes, let's do it. Let's try again. Let's try again. We got new voices here. We got a new writer. We'll get a new director. We'll get new characters, hopefully. And why not give him a shot? And I hope that little guy continues to have a voice and it gets louder as we hear more about this film. Okay, now I want to hear your voice. What do you think about this news? Are you excited somehow? Do you think, okay, we had a very, very, very bad speed bump. We got that out of our system. We learn from our mistakes. We're going to go a completely different direction, closer to the vision of the original Matrix. I'm here for it. Let me know. Or are you thinking, no, screw this. These movies are all dead in the water. They're products of their time. I'm sick of all the remakes and the reboots and the sequels. Get away from the Indiana Jones, the Ghostbusters, the Star Wars. Start doing new things and leave the past in the past. Let me know though, please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I post tons of movie reviews, rants, commentary every single week. It's all movies all the time. Would love to have you stick around. There's also a second channel I just started, Adam Does Rants. That's everything non-movie related and it's all very loose and fun. It's just me bitching typically for 15 or so minutes about something trivial that we all can kind of agree to at a point where maybe people are being rude on their phones in public or Public bathrooms are disgusting beyond all means now in 2024. Or, baristas are a lot more rude now at the stores. There's a lot of things. A lot of things to cover over there. I'm keeping it loose and light, and I hope to have you there. Alright, that's all I got. Hopefully I'll see you next time.